Okay, today we're unboxing the Klarstein infrared heater. This is the 360 watt model, as you can see. It says a Velkommen because it's German. Um, yeah, so this is a infrared panel heater uh, by Klarstein, I believe. And uh, this has come straight from Germany. It literally just got delivered. So I'm just going to unbox it and we're going to have a look at it. Insulation template, nothing on the wall. We've got, it's called the, uh, it's the Wonderwall Air. Let's just focus there. Yeah, it's infrared heater by Clash Dime. Yeah. Cool, let's uh, quickly unbox and I'll slash open this. What we got in here, I'm assuming this is going to be comforting. <laughs> uh, right, so we got. Instructions in German first. English. Okay, here we go. So, let's just focus, 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 focus. Here we go. So, let's have to put it in the wall. That's actually this remote here. So, on off, wireless LAN, raise temperature, lower temperature. Timer and heat status, heat status display. Interesting. And obviously, there's a panel on the side. Commission in operation devices integrated with wireless LAN controller. This means there's no additional thermostat required to operate the device. Devices follow features manual mode, intelligent mode, holiday mode, and detect function for open windows. Okay. The unit detects a drastic drop in room temperature with a short time and heating mode. The open window symbol will, on the screen will start to flash. The heat will search off for 30 minutes. That's pretty good. Uh, your temperature calibration. That's cool to calibrate as well. It's good that it has that. Um, clean and maintenance. So, uh, before cleaning the plug, never immerse the appliance in water, blah, 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 blah. Never use a wet cloth. Do not use the breast abrasives. Okay. And then setting up the app. So, if you want to scan that QR code. We'll take you straight to the app. Um, okay. Okay, so looking at the unit now, it's been cleaned. Just used a little bit of wet paper towel and water. Most of this came off. There's a little tiny, tiny fleck there. That is actually, this bit is actually just the artwork. Um, but it seems to have beaded, which isn't great, great to be honest. And then that bit, I don't seem to be able to get out at all. I wonder if that might be part of the artwork as well, I'm not really sure, but these bits are going to eventually fall out, I would hope. But, as a piece of art, other than that really annoying line, it's not my style, for sure, but uh, it would give a bit more colour to this very white room, so uh, yeah, let's turn it on and see how it is. Okay, so I've just chucked it on top of my uh, breakfast bar. Something I will note is, they really didn't think about the cosmetics of chucking one of these black European to UK adapters on rather than say white or something silver. White would have been nice because obviously the frames, even though the frame's silver, oh no, is it silver or white? No, the frame is white, so they could have really thought about that and the white cable, but you know, that's about two quid to change, so I don't mind doing that. Right, let me just quickly explain. So an infrared heater is basically designed to heat objects in front of it. So like the camera right now, it's not turned on, but um, it's not designed to heat the air. The whole point is say, for example, if you sit in front of it, it'll radiate light onto you or infrared light specifically onto you. And then you get the feeling of being warm because it actually warms your skin and everything in between. So um, it's not realistically meant to warm the air, as I said, it's not meant to cause convection. So hot air doesn't rise from the top. Literally it shines infrared into your face, uh, which some people would probably think is a bad idea. Um, similar to how an air fryer works, but on a much lower level um, and obviously not contained. Uh, it requires direct line of sight to heat you. So for example, everything that this is currently looking at, which is 
basically a wall and myself, um, that will be heated and then those objects would then release the heat into the air. So instead of the, this creating the heat, it actually sends it to you via infrared, then you get hot and then you release the heat. That's the theory. Supposedly it's around 98% efficient, uh, which is more than the average home central heating system. I'm not gonna be able to measure that, but uh, I'm just gonna tune it on in a second. I'm gonna try and describe what it's like because something that seems to be missing quite a lot online is a good explanation of what it's like. My understanding is that, so for example, if you were stood over in the sunny part of the fence, instead of just having like a warm feeling um, of the year around you, you actually feel the sun on your skin. That's what I'm expecting, but I haven't turned it on yet, so I have no idea. So we're just gonna give it a go. So uh, here we are. Um, just gonna just go ahead and plug it in while I'm on the camera. Let's take that out. Make sure that's tight because it's literally just did it. Okay. Nothing's happening because I don't think it's on. It is not on, so I'll just go ahead. It's a bit hard to see. Okay, that's not working. One second, please. Okay, so I chucked a ramek in behind to move it further away from the wall. As you can see, it is now set to off. There is a physical switch on the bottom that needs to be on. However, for those of you eco warriors slash people who want to save standby power, there is a light that is permanently on on the bottom. Don't worry, you can't see it flickering. That's just the camera seeing the frequency of the light. So, um, yeah, I haven't actually turned it on. Okay. We'll set it to 21. Why not? The time's obviously wrong. It's a manual mode. It says it's heating. Oh, wow. Okay. That is interesting. That's kind of bizarre. So, oh, wow. It instantly gets hot. To, uh, it instantly gets warm to the touch. It's not hot, but it's warm. Okay, cool. Obviously, this is going to be hard to convey. Um, it is not like I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Uh, yeah, so it's, it is not like standing front, standing in the sun at all. Um, I don't really know. Two seconds while I think about this. <laughs> okay, I got it. I have, a good, I have a good explanation of what this is like. So, to those people who had a CRT back in the day and you stood in front of your CRT, and you put your hand close to it, just like back of your hand, and you can feel that kind of radiant heat from the CRT. Um, that is what it feels like. Um, kind of with less static, obviously, because CRTs do have a lot of static. For those uh, younger, newer generation of people, um, go to a shop like Curry's or PC World or if you're in the US, uh, Best Buy or whatever, Find the biggest possible power hungry TV you can find and put the back of your hand close to it because it's not radiant like a radiator. I know that sounds silly, but it's not. It's, it's just kind of like, like from here, I can feel the heat get coming off it. Even though the heat's not coming off it, it's the infrared coming into my hand and then my hand's converted to the heat. It's, it's, it's hard to explain. I'm not a scientist. Um, but when I first clicked it on, everyone said, oh, it's instant heat. It's not. Um, the panel, if you go close to the panel, it's instant heat. But the longer it's on, the closer it comes towards me. So, for example, I can feel it there now, which is that far away from the panel. When I first turned it on, I can be there. But as time goes on, the more it drifts outwards. It's kind of weird in that scenario, in that case. Um, what I would probably describe it best of, best as is uh, when you were in science class. I don't know if they ever did this, where they opened a bottle of perfume on the one side of the room. I remember that day quite well, uh, several, well, 10 years ago now. Um, 
and it, the, the the smell irradiates us through the room. So you know, you get the first wave of people who can smell it, and the second wave of people who can smell it, and the third wave of people who can smell it. It's like that. Like, I still can't feel it here yet. I'll say when I can feel it. There. I can now feel it there, which is just beyond the desk. It's just beyond, just beyond the desk. That's where I can start feeling it now. Where a second ago it was there. So, it does seem to be slowly drifting out. That's such a weird thing. That is so friggin' weird. Cool. Um, it is drawing 350 watts. I checked that. We'll just go across to my smart meter. And we'll just, uh, yeah, so the house is using about 30, 40. The silver's not really kicking anything out anymore. So it's about 350 watts. Um, I need to figure out where I want to mount this at the moment. Uh, it's a good length to put it on that wall where I'm going to be working. Um, really interesting. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Uh, this is probably going to be most my most interactive video because of the fact that this this kind of topic hasn't been covered very well and someone hasn't explained it very well in the past. So, um, yeah, my understanding of how it would feel was completely and utterly wrong. Um, it's just bizarre how, like, there you go. It's changed a little bit now. It's slightly closer again now than, uh, than it was before, where I could start feeling the heat. So, interestingly, my echo dot's been sat here for a little bit. Okay, the echo dot the back now is warm. It is actually warm, which is to be expected. Yeah, really bizarre. I recommend you get one of these just for the sake of um, sake of experiencing it. I'm sure these might actually become the norm at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna later on. I'm gonna query if that line is meant to be there because it doesn't look like it is, to be honest. Um, but anyway, that pretty much concludes the video. Like I said, please drop a comment in the uh, comments below uh, if you have any queries or questions. Wow, I can actually feel that from... I can feel that slightly from here now. That's bizarre. It's like in waves. Really odd. Cool, alright. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, I might do a follow-up video if someone has a question or query that I can kind of represent somehow. That'd be great. I don't know if I'm going to do any thermometer kind of based videos or... Uh, it'd be cool to get an actual... Um, infrared like FLIR camera uh, and point it at say the desk and then see how it changes over time but uh, I have no chance of getting one of them at the moment so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys uh, if you can just like this video hopefully we'll get a lot of people watching this it might actually benefit some people who are trying to save money this unit was 120 pound I got it on discount as well I'm starting to think that I, might, I got it on discount because of these marks over here and maybe this line but at least it works so yeah, um, cool, catch you later.